let's talk about sharpening in non-destructive manner. Well, I've got my uh, horsehead nebula here in GIMP and uh, I'm going to be sharpening it today. Uh, to begin with, we want to create two duplicate layers. So right click uh, on your image here and duplicate layer and do it again. Uh, and let's name them. So this one we call normal. This one uh, we will call vivid. Now choose the vivid one and we're gonna change the mode from normal to, you guessed it, vivid light. Uh, this is how it should look like. Uh, then we are going to invert colors, that's important. So go to colors and click invert. And this is how your image should look like now. Uh, next up, uh, you want to go to filters and blur and Gaussian blur. Uh, now turn this, uh, experiment with it, but I, I, for this picture, I think, uh, somewhere around four to five should work. Let's, let's go five. You can always tone this down later. That's fine. So once uh, you can see more, some details here, you just, oh, or in doubt, just go for five and see what happens. Uh, and then click OK. Uh, this is how it should look. Now we will create, right click on this uh, tab and we will create new layer group. Uh, now drag vivid under this layer and same with the normal. Uh, and then you click on this layer group and change from normal to Olay. And that's it. You can see the image has sharpened reasonably. This is what it looked before. Uh, it's blurry and uh, this is what it looks now. Now for some of you, this that amount of sh sharpening would be uh, not good. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, turn the sharpening down if if you so wish and you can do that by making sure that this is clicked uh, and then changing the opacity. Uh, so the less opacity there is the less sharpening you will get. Uh, but I, I think I'm, I'm happy with somewhere here. Well that's it. Uh, this is how you do sharpening in non-destructive manner in uh, GIMP. Let me know what you think about it. If you have any questions, comments, please, uh, uh, I would love to know. Alright, bye for now.